So today we need to talk about carrier recovery. Um, so what's um, carrier recovery? So let's first write this here. Carrier recovery. So remember, we are, um, I just draw the classical demodulator here, um, the bandpass demodulator. So we've got here our aerial, and um, and then if we have a quadrature demodulator, then then we have here two multipliers, and so here we have got the cosine term. And here we've got the sine term, and this is generated here by an oscillator. And then, yeah, what we do here is we do a low pass filtering. We also do here low pass filtering, and then here we've got our our real part out there, and this is our imaginary part. and so on. So now, in order to make this to work on the receiver, so this this sine wave here generated, so this carrier signal here, needs to be exactly the same phase as on the transmitter side, so that we are able to distinguish between our cosine and our sine wave. So, so, this, so this oscillator needs, needs to be somehow driven also by some information coming from this aerial, so that this FC, this oscillator here, is in total sync to the oscillator on the transmitter side. So we need to need to recover the carrier, the carrier from from our received. Signal, yeah. And so we focus here on on phase modulation. And um, just remember, in terms in terms of um, phase modulation, is the what what um, was the difference between phase modulation and um, AM amplitude modulation is that the carrier has been actually removed. So therefore, here at this point, to get the carrier back here is not that easy as it might might look like. And so, this involves now a couple of um, steps we need to we need to cover. <coughs> 